leaving the hospital that night, there was something wrong and I knew there was something wrong. Obviously something had been fitted inside me, but it felt wrong. Hi, my name is Leslie Ann Stevens. Um, I'm 41 from Carlo, uh, married to Darren with two little girls. Um, shortly after having our second girl, I, I was um, incontinent. From sneezing, I would leak to um, getting out of the car where I would completely wet myself and have to change my trousers. Um, I went to my GP. She referred me to a gynaecologist who told me the best thing since sliced bread was going to be a thing called vaginal mesh. Um, I was delighted, Darren was delighted, this was going to be my fix. In 2016 my operation uh, came about um, and I knew straight after my operation that something wasn't right and the weeks following that it started to happen. It started to come through my vagina wall um, and there was a hard piece of plastic sticking through um, and cutting every single time I put one foot in front of the other. Um, I would go out with Darren or go out with the girls and I would bleed into my shoe. You know, I went back to the consultant, told him, obviously he felt it, he knew it was there, told me that it had to be done ASAP. I waited seven months um, with it sticking through me um, and having to walk with that for seven months before um, it was removed. Um, and I went back, asked him, you know, there's something not right. You know, I, 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 need, I need help, I need medical help. And he said um, that he'd only partially removed the mesh and that he was going to um, bring me straight back in and, and take out the rest. The following October he brought me in almost seven months later again um, and he removed again a part of it um, so but at this stage I had to start using a walking stick I was in I was in horrendous pain you know not too long, only a couple of weeks ago um, I was here with Ivan on News Talk and um, and after hearing the story um, we had what I would call an angel um, arrive at the door um, and offer to pay for me to go to America to have to be seen and to get the help that I needed. Within three days, my husband had got the appointments in America, and um, and they were so accommodating in America. They were absolutely fantastic. They gave the appointments as we needed it, um, and we went when the girls were on break from school. Um, so the girls were able to come with us. They, obviously they had a wonderful holiday. The man that, that I met was incredible, absolutely incredible. He has helped thousands of women. But he told me there was two options. One option was uh, to have an operation that was dangerous and risky, um, that was going to involve um, intense surgery that, that, that would be hours. Um, and my other option was to stay as I am. Uh, for me, Instantly I knew the decision that I would make to be a mammy and to be able to be a wife and be it not a perfect, be able to be perfect mammy or perfect wife, um, just to be just to be here I suppose and not be in a wheelchair. And I know that if that if I chanced the operation I could end up in a wheelchair. And I know down the road that's a possibility anyway. But you know if if I do end up in a wheelchair uh, down the road. At least I'll have nothing to lose if I do decide to go and have the operation done. I'm only human. I need, I need to know what's wrong with my body and I don't want something to happen that, you know, I won't be here for the girls or for Darren. It's, it's just not good enough that our government can leave people in such a state and in such a diabolical state. It is wrong on a moral level, on a human level, that they can leave us like that. If I was an animal, um, they wouldn't leave me in this state. They'd have put me down long ago.